Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I decided to do something really, really different. Today, we're going to do a tutorial on Zenitsu, uh, the lightning guy. I know I haven't recorded in a while, but yeah, let's do it. So, first thing we're gonna do is, well, here's our lightning blade. So, um, let's see. Well, the first things we probably would want to do right now is weld it all together. So, um, one more thing, we should probably make a handle first. This is going to be our handle. Wait, sorry, whoops. Let's name this part handle. And then, let's probably make it size of 1-1. One, one. And, so, just so we know where's the front, we can just go like that. That's so that's how we know that's the front. So yeah. And then we'll scroll down, make it massless, make sure anchored is false, counter lights is set to false. Move this. Make sure it's handled with a capital H. And here. Yeah. Near lightning blade, uh this is not my model by the way. You could you could probably make your a better model. This model is still good, but so here yeah, in the lightning blade, click on the first part and then go down, hold shift, click on the last part, and then boom, you selected all this. So all the parts in the lightning blade, scroll down, make sure can collide is set to false, make sure ma it's massless, make sure anchored is false, and then make sure nothing is called handle. So right here, this is probably the handle. Let's just rename it to handle part. So, yeah. Now, we'll go to this handle part, copy its position, click on this, and give this its position right here. Now we know this is the, uh, well, this is that. Okay, so, and next. Let's just make it a little bit see-through, so change it, uh, we'll change its transparency to 0.5. And then let's go to the lightning blade and rotate it. By a little bit. And then, like, just, let's just, let's eye it down. Yeah. Okay, so, this is, uh, should be like this the handle should be uh this handle part should be at least covering where the uh blade is going to be where the uh thing is going to be now the next thing we're going to do is well click on the model and then drag this model into the handle and then the next thing we want to do is well we need to get welded Uh, let's go to the model, go down, weld. Now this is probably already going to be very hard to do, but make sure the first part you click on is the handle itself, and make sure it's welded to many other things. So here, that's our first weld constraint. So we'll control D, part 1 to be played we'll, we'll probably well then you can check if you welded to make sure you welded to the correct part I know it's pretty hard to see but so uh, let's finish this, uh, control D, pattern, and then handle part. So right here, this is all of our welds, we can leave it there, and yeah, we're pretty much done right here. Now next thing is click on the plus button in workspace, and we're going to add in a tool, and then we're going to drag everything handle into tool 
and then there's Zenetsu's blade. Zenetsu's blade. We can test the game and see if this cool thing works. But at this point, you probably did a lot of effort, so you're gonna have to save the game right now, so you don't lose this this blade. Or you can save it into save the blade into Roblox now. Move this blade into starter pack, and then we can test and see if it uh, works. So let's play test and see what we get. So let's hold it and see what we get. So it looks like it's properly in place. We got it in place. Uh, this is probably what you want. And yeah. Hey. So you're probably in the... Okay, so... Right here. Let's start our animation. So first thing we want to do is... Well, let's duplicate... Uh, duplicate Zenetsu's blade by pressing Ctrl D and selecting Zenetsu's blade. So drag it into this dummy. We're gonna use this dummy to animate it. This well thing. Let's turn this on. And here. Yeah. So now let's start animating it. The first thing we're gonna make is the auto animation. So let's go. In the starter pack for Zenitsu's blade right here, add an animation. In this animation, we we'll call it we we'll call it idle. Oops, idle. Animation ID over there. Now this is not the best idle, but you could probably make a better looking idle. This is completely up to you. Oh, and make sure the animation priority is idle. Yeah. And now the next thing we want to do is, well, going to, uh, let's add a script. We're probably going to add this idle. So let's call this, uh, local tool equals script dot parent. Parent and then tool. Well, let's add one more thing. Let's call, call this the, uh, anim. And then tool dot equipped connect function and then look and a local uh, char is equal to tool dot parent and then the next thing we're gonna do is let's start this anim let's start this animation process now so uh so uh, local wait no 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 sorry Look, anim is equal to uh, char dot humanoid load animation and then in load animation script dot script dot parent dot idle dot then anim play. Now we also need to stop this animation. So the next thing we're gonna do is well, this is a pretty simple thing to do, but it's tool dot unequipped connect function and yeah. Now this is a very easy way to do it. 
a little bit more complicated than the other way to do it, but I prefer doing it this way because I have more control over the animation. So that's where our idol is. And yeah. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, well, let's make another animation. Now I'm going to speed up this video. Okay, so I've just finished the idle. Now, Control D. Let's duplicate this animation and let's call it the uh, slash. Okay. Now, next thing we're gonna do is let's call this the uh, sl slash anim. Oh yeah, and we're probably gonna have to do this. I forgot. In unequip, it's anim destroy. Okay. So um, and slash anim, it's equal to. We'll, we'll copy this right here, but change it, and then slash. Then slash animate, I mean destroy. So there, there we go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is tool dot activated connect function local char is equal to tool dot parent and then slash anim. Full on play. So yeah, we're done. I'm pretty sure yeah we're pretty much done here. 